Okay, um, today I feel better. I was so upset yesterday, and so, you know, I usually am not negative, and I try not to be, and I want to have a positive outlook, but it's just so much negative news, so many bad things. It just seems like things are out of control. You know, you think a month ago, there were like, what, 12 people who hit the coronavirus in the United States. Now we're at, I think, 200,000 people. They're talking about that maybe 200,000 people will probably die. You know, we'll have millions of people with the virus. The hospitals are being over, overwhelmed, you know, and we have a president who is just a complete idiot. I'm sorry. For all the people, if I have, you know, subscribers who are fans of Trump, I'm sorry, but, you know, Trump is an idiot. He is a complete idiot. And this is like insane. But one thing I have to say is that right now, here in, in Chicago and in the state of Illinois, we're lucky. We have a mayor who's taking charge. And we have a governor who's doing an excellent job. You know, both the mayor and the governor are doing an excellent job. You know, they have a lot to, to work with. They have a lot to do, and I'd like to thank them for the work that they do, you know. And, you know, the other day I went to the store, and I actually thanked the, one of the, the cashiers there, and I said, you know, you're doing an excellent job, and I really appreciate your work. And, and I think that people should say that to the people who are out there who have to be in this bad situation. You know, every time I go out, I almost feel like this is like playing Russian roulette in a way. You, you're like, you don't know who has what. And it's like, it's weird because it's like something out of a movie. You know, it's just, it's, it's, this is unbelievable. You know, if, if I could go back in time to the beginning of this year and I, was, and I could tell people about all the things that happen right now, nobody would believe it. But here we are in this situation. And the only thing you can do is just try to keep your spirits up. That's it. It's it's tough. It's really hard. You know, I'm sitting here in my pajamas trying to, you know, just sitting around. I don't like sitting around just doing nothing. But uh, I'm trying to keep myself busy. So, you know, I don't know when I'm going to go back to work. So... Who knows? You know. I just, I hope that in November that people will think about the way Trump handled the situation and remember that when they vote. You know. I just hope that happens. That's all I can say.